well uh, in this video we cover uh, how would we interpret the parameter distribution and regression line uh, when the data is in absolute form and when the data is in logarithmic form you can see beta naught had beta naught this is this is the intercept in both these equation this is the intercept and this is the intercept as well whereas this is this is slope and this is elasticity right so first of all we need to differentiate between slope and elasticity what do we mean by elasticity and what do we mean by slope let's suppose if y depends upon x such that y is dependent variable and x is independent variable now the question is how much x depends upon x right so to quantify this relationship the dependence of y upon x we regress y over x for the sake of simplicity let us assume that the, dip, the relationship between x and y assumes a linear functional form all right now it depends upon the data what kind of data of y and on x is if the data is an absolute form for example it is in million it is, is a trillion etc etc and similarly the data of x and you regress y over x now the question is are you transforming your data from level to logarithm or not Log logarithmic form or not if you are if you are transforming your data from absolute to log form and then you regress y on x then clearly you would get beta 1 as your parameter estimates and in that case it will be elasticity right however if you don't want to transform your data from absolute to log form then you would simply regress y over x and you would assume a linear functional form and when you would estimate it it will be slope rather than elasticity all right now the question is what is the difference between slope and elasticity so to uh, highlight the difference between slope and elasticity it is mandatory to compare the commonalities between slope and elasticity the common thing between slope and elasticity is both measures the degree of responsiveness of the dependent variable y when x change when your independent variable change however the difference between the slope and elasticity is that slope measures the responsiveness of y in units in units however elasticity always measures the responsiveness of the dependent variable in percentage form now the question is why do we call it slope and why do we call it elasticity the question is do we have some mathematical proof the answer is yes before further discussion you guys are requested to like this video subscribe to show academy and press the bell icon to get regular updates of this channel you we can uh, prove it mathematically look at it let us assume some mathematical form let log of y is equal to beta 1 uh, beta naught sorry plus beta 1 log of x this is the logarithmic form now we take the total differential on both sides let us take the total differential of it the total differential of this is write the derivative on both sides with respect to y and with respect to x right and multiply by the their respective differentials for example if you want to take the derivative of this first of all we need to remember that if you want to take the derivative of log function its procedure is for example if y is equal to log of x cube and you want to, add, to take its derivative then dy by dx this is equal to rewrite x cube without log in the denominator right and take its simple derivative in the numerator it will be log rule for logarithmic functions so this is 3x square right and in the denominator this, this is x cube so this is how to take derivative of logarithmic functions all right 
now you need to take the total differential of this function so you need to take d by dy of log of y multiplied by differential of y and similarly that the derivative of constant is always equal to this is constant so this is 0 and plus beta 1 time here the variable is x so take the derivative with respect to x x of log of x d by dx of log of x into differential of x all right so this is equal to rewrite y as it is and take its derivative in the denominator with respect to y into dy and this is equal to beta 1 time this is the derivative of this is write x as it is and take its simple derivative with respect to x of this x and multiply by its own differential right now you can simplify this the derivative of y with respect to y is 1 so this is 1 over y and this is dy and this is beta 1 time the derivative of x with respect to x is 1 and divided by x and this is dx so clearly this is equal to dy by y and this is equal to beta 1 time dx divided by x if you multiply x into dx on both sides x divided by dx on this side and x divided by dx on this side as well x is cancelled out with x and dx is cancelled out with dx so beta 1 this is equal to dy by dx into x divided by y because you can um, change the places of y and dx so it will be dy by dx and x divided by y so x divided by y which is the formula of elasticity so we have proved that if we transform our data from absolute to uh, log form the parameter estimates would remain elasticity rather than slope so that's why this elasticity not slope thank you thanks for watching